Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. So the best part about having a YouTube channel based around the Tundra is I get to go to you fine folks every time I'm confused on what I want to do with something. As you know, if you've been around the channel, I recently traded out of a 2022 TRD Pro and got myself into an SR5. Why, a lot of people ask, is I was able, fortunate enough, to have an opportunity to lower my monthly payment which made a lot of sense because that TRD Pro is very expensive. How much did I lower my payment? Over $200 a month. So definitely in a nice place right now. And to be honest with you, I'm madly in love with my new SR5. This is the new Gen Tundra I should have got all along. Now, as we're looking at pictures of my SR5, it is the TRD off-road. It is the double cab. Why the double cab? Don't use the back seat much. Figured I would get that and show you guys if it's possible if you're in the market for the Tundra. Is that backseat too small? Should you go Crew Max? So I took the opportunity to get something a little bit different than everybody else has out there to show you guys if it's worth spending the money or just move right on to that Crew Max. Now, the best part about this SR5 TRD Off-Road is it's pretty much fully loaded. As loaded as you can get when it comes to this truck. It has the big screen in it. Um, it has the power folding mirrors, it has the soft text, it has pretty much everything. The badges on the outside are blacked out. It has that beautiful TRD grille up front. It actually has the TRD 20 inch wheels that are from the Limited and 1794. Normally when you get the SR5 TRD, you get an 18 inch wheel which is black with a silver lip. This has the upgraded wheel package and that could be added to any Tundra for around, I believe it's 16 to $1,800, that wheel and tire package. Falcon Wild Peak tires. So I absolutely love the look and I love the driving experience so far. One thing that friends locally with me have been talking about is when or if I will change out the chrome on the truck, which is the grill surround and the rear bumper panels. So I'm going to you. I want to see what you guys think about that because I'm kind of torn with it. It's a little bit of chrome. I don't absolutely hate it. I'm not a big chrome guy, but I don't hate it because... It isn't an obnoxious amount of chrome. Uh, the mirror caps are body color. The handles are body color. Like I said, the badges are blacked out. It's just that surround around the grill and the rear bumper. Now, one thing Toyota did that kind of makes me scratch my head is if you get an SR5 that's non-TRD, those surrounds are actually body color and the rear bumper is black. But when you go into a TRD off-road, it changes that surround and the rear bumper to chrome. I would think it would be the other way around, but... Hey, I don't know. I'm not the one who makes decisions in Toyota, but let's check out some prices on sparksparts.com and see what we would be paying if we were to make this move. So obviously, we would get the Midnight Black Metallic uh, surround and rear bumper. And here's just a little bit of pricing for you here. When you go to the website for the grill surround and you put in your color, the color is going to adjust the price as for how much you will pay. So the Midnight Black Metallic, for that surround would be about $770. And that would body color the front. It would probably look great. I'd probably black out the Toyota logo as well if we do that. So almost $800 for that front. If we go to the rear bumper panels to color match at midnight black, which does not add any cost, which is kind of nice, would be $308. So my question to you is there are people on the channel that like the Chrome. There are people on the channel that do not like the Chrome. So I'm going to let you guys battle it out down in the comments below. What direction do we go here? Because like I said, the truck is all blacked out except for those two spots. So it would look very, very cool. But also, when I walk up to the truck every day, I don't absolutely hate what's there right now. I think, it, you know, being, it depends on the exterior color of the truck for me. Being it's all black, that little bit of chrome kind of gives it that nice accent. It's kind of why I always like that Midnight Black Metallic 1794. Uh, that has a lot more chrome on the outside of the body. Uh, but uh, this one, all blacked out except for that. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about that SR5, please let me know. I will tell you, I'm absolutely loving my time with the SR5. I've been blessed. I've been able to drive a lot of high-end Tundras, Capstone, a couple TRD Pros, a Limited, and I'm just floored by how much I actually like this truck versus some of those trucks. All of those trucks were fun. The iForce Max is a fantastic engine. Um, when I lowered down into this SR5, 
I kind of came into it with, well, at least I could save a bunch of money and still have a brand new Tundra to talk to you guys about in the SR5 trim, which is the most popular trim. Uh, but to be completely honest with you, I'm absolutely loving my time with the SR5. I feel like I made a fantastic decision. I can barely walk away from the vehicle without wanting to jump back in and drive it again. So to have that feeling is fantastic. Sometimes things work out to where you make a move that you're not sure if you're going to like it and you end up loving it. The most expensive is not always the best. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are we de-chroming the outside of this SR5 TRD off-road double cab or are we leaving as is? Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Till next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 gmail.com. Guys, have a great day. Be safe, be well, and thank you so much for your help in advance.